Hi guys, it's Trashy. Um, I'm back with another video today. I don't normally do unboxing videos, but um, I bought myself something last week. Um, I won a voucher for Amazon um, in a project that I was doing at work. So I thought I would uh, get myself an action camera. So a lot of the guys use GoPros on the site that I um, that I visit, the one in Dover. Um, I was actually looking at these for a little while, found that they were really expensive. Um, the Black Edition, the new one with all the mounts and stuff, um, which was kind of the thing that I was looking for, 1080p, um, it's £370 at the moment, including delivery off Amazon. Um, it was far too much for me to spend, so I began fishing around for some alternatives, um, and I found this. Um, as you can see, it's still very fresh in the box. Um, had it delivered about 15 minutes ago, so I'm going to quickly just uh, unbox it, show you what it comes with. This is the Polaroid XS100. Um, it's a 1080p um, action camera. It's waterproof up to 10 meters. It does 16 megapixel pictures. It does um, burst mode. It does slow motion. It also does 60 frames per second. So I'm hoping to get some really smooth footage. Um, and I just wanted to. Uh, uh, get this unboxed to show you guys what it come with um, and also I will do a proper review on this once I've used it so uh, let's just uh, get all this apart and see what's in the box um, as I say you know a lot of my videos now are you know in here filming about my kit um, showing you guys uh, exactly what I've um, you know what kit I've got reviews and stuff but I would really like to show you guys you know exactly what you know the games comprise of show you some footage of me actually playing um, so let's just slide this out of this box comes in quite a nice little case actually um, hopefully you guys can see all this okay but um, comes in a really cool case um, this nice little handle on top and everything as well so I presume it can go back in here with yours if you're still using it um, I'm not exactly 100% sure what it comes with uh, I did read a good few reviews and watch some footage online uh, to be honest I didn't find an unboxing video uh, for this, so I thought that I would do one and quickly run you through what it comes with. As I say, I'm not quite sure. I know that it comes with a few mounts. I have no idea what they are. So um, there's the camera. Um, comes this nice little box. Uh, it's quite small, to be completely honest. Um, it was it's smaller than I thought it was going to be, uh, and feels quite light as well, considering it's in this case. So what I do is I'll just put this down for the moment. I'll see what accessories and stuff it comes with, and then I'll come back to the camera. So let's just put that down. Um, try and get into this box. A lot of this stuff comes so packaged up, it's going to be uh, difficult to get out. So okay, um, let's have a quick look and see what's in here. Uh, here's a little case. Um, feels like neoprene. Um, got a little strap and everything on the back as well probably just to keep it safe uh, I didn't know about this so you know everything's a bit of a bonus uh, this is a USB to micro USB lead I presume this is how you're going to connect it to your computer to transfer over the data um, it does come with 32 meg internal storage probably get a few photos on there um, but I have bought myself um, a 32 meg waterproof SD card I can grab you that and show you that at the end uh, let's just see what else is in here. Uh, here's two straps. I presume one of these is just going to be like a helmet mount. Um, there's two in here. So what I'll do is I'll dig these out, find out exactly how to use them, and probably show you through these in the next video. Um, what else have we got in here? Ooh, ton of bits in here. So this is a uh, HDMI to micro HDMI. So a this will probably be for playback, plugging it into a monitor or a TV screen. Um, quite a nice little addition, normally cameras don't come with these. So uh, at least I know if I've got some footage and I take it anywhere with me, I can plug it into a telly and watch that footage back. Um, there's a ton of mounts here, so if I just hold some of these up. Um, I try and fish through them, I try and find out exactly what they are. This is going to be a handlebar mount, so this is going to be great. This will probably go on the barrel or on the scope of my gun and hold the camera in place. Um, quite a nice little feature. I, as I said, weren't sure exactly what this was going to come with, so one of these would be brilliant if you're going to attach it to a mountain bike, a gun, or um, you know whatever you're going to use this for. I presume that you could probably you know attach this to any sort of scuba gear, or if you've seen any of the rods that some of the guys that do snowboarding and stuff do that holds the camera up above their heads. I guess this thing's going to be perfect. Um, again, uh, this looks like a helmet mount or a chest plate mount. Um, 
it's got some holes in the side for those straps that I uh, unwrapped earlier so I presume you could if you needed to I look great with this probably mounted on top of your head or you could probably put it around your chest as well depending on what sport you're going to do uh, quite a nice little mount actually looks like it's in some really solid plastic it's not flexible or anything at all so looks like it's going to be fairly sturdy um, let's have a quick look at these mounts as well all oh, right okay so this is the mount that's going to go in the bottom of the camera. Um, it looks very similar to the GoPro one actually. Uh, very sturdy plastic again, nice solid screw through it. Uh, I presume that's going to slip into one of these mounts with the ball on the bottom uh, and that will create like an elbow joint effect so it will sit in there like that. Again, you could have it off your chest or if you're going to have it on your head you could probably lay it back. Um, it's got two types of those, you've got one with a small direct ball on the bottom and one with an angled ball, take it for however you want to mount it. So you've got some good options, um, let's have a quick look at this, um, do you, in there you've got um, some 3M uh, Velcro tape, so you know you could Velcro this to something, helmet, um, any sort of kit you've got, uh, a couple of spare um, mounting plates in here, um, some sticky back plastic as well just in case you wanted to permanently stick it to something and that looks like a wrist strap as well so that's everything that come with it so you've got a ton of different mounts um, some 3M for sticking it to something a uh, little case USB to micro USB um, and HDMI cable uh, and your straps which I presume one of these is a chest mounted strap and one of them is going to be a head mounted strap um, or one for attaching it to a helmet um, I'm going to probably put it on above my scope so it works like a scope cam. I think you guys have probably seen a few of them now, um, those styles of videos anyway. Um, let's just get this open and we'll actually have a look at the camera itself. Um, I'll show you this as well. This is the card that I got. This is a scan disc. It's a uh, class 10, which is the fastest data transfer class that you can buy at the moment. As far as I'm aware, it come with an adapter. I think it was about £16. Um, as usual, I'll put all the links in the bottom for this. So let's just uh, open this box up and get the camera out. Have a quick look at it. I do wrap these things up awfully well. Um, it's quite good that I actually had the scalpel out on my desk. Um, from some of the videos that I've been doing. Um, I'm hoping to get some footage at the next game so you guys can actually see that playing. So let's just pop this out of its case. Um, there it is. Uh, it's quite a cool looking little camera actually. Um, it's got a 170 degree lens as well which is you know great for footage. You know you'll be able to see all the uh, all the angles for this. This is quite stiff this screw on the bottom. Um, Right, what we'll do is I'll leave it on that mounting plate at the moment. Um, I have no idea how it works, what the buttons do, so that's everything that comes in the box. Got the camera, so a quick run through of the list. You've got a uh, chest mounting plate or mounting plate to a helmet. You've got your uh, straight and 90 degree angled um, elbow joint so you could mount it um, and, and get it you know positioned in a direction of, of sight. Uh, I've got the 32 gig SD card with this, it will come to £110 including delivery um, so it only cost me £10 it, you know, because I took the voucher away from what I had. Um, it's 10 meters waterproof, uh, it looks great, um, looks very simple to use, it also has a really cool thing that's a vibrate function, I just managed to switch it on then, uh, you can see the little light flashing on and off on the top. Um, so that if you've got it attached to your head you know when it's recording and stuff uh, I will review it, get some footage and then uh, I will post a video up of some of the footage will be the next thing and then hopefully a game of it so uh, hope that covers everything that comes with the camera as I say I will run through all the specs of it in the review of the camera um, this is just an unboxing so you guys can see what comes with it if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm not going to be an expert, as I've uh, literally just got it out of the box, but I hope that's enough information for you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's fundamentally about airsoft, but you might find some other stuff like this on there, just simple unboxings and reviews of pieces of kit. So uh, thanks for watching.